What is going on all you tech addicts? Jay here with Jay's Two Cents. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a pretty cool product from EVGA. And with Z97 just launching and Devil's Canyon 4790K processors coming out, it's gotta be a cool component, right? Maybe a brand new Z97 motherboard, or maybe it's gonna be an awesome graphics card, or maybe it's gonna be EVGA's brand new Torque X10 gaming mouse. Yeah, EVGA made a mouse. Now the Torque X10 from EVGA brings some pretty cool features to the market. And you would think that this was not their first mouse. In fact, you'd think they've been doing this for years, but this is a pretty unique mouse. And the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and point out, if you're a left-hander, you have some pretty limited options of what you can use when it comes to a mouse. But EVGA is showing you some love, bro. They're showing you ambidextrous mice is the future. Check it out. You have got thumb buttons on both, boths, boths on both sides of the mouse. That is pretty freaking cool if you ask me. Now the mouse is mostly hollow. In fact, there's not a whole lot going on inside there. I mean, you can kind of see right through the mouse. So it really cuts down on weight. But if you like a heavier mouse like I do, a hollow mouse is probably not something you're looking for. So EVGA has combated that as well by making a panel that removes right here. It pops right off and you've got some adjustable weights that you can stick in there. You've got a bunch of different size weights and you pretty much just stick them in there to add as much weight as you want. Now I'm using both 14 gram weights here. It does come with a variety of different weights and I like a heavier mouse. So I've made up for that hollowness by adding that weight in there. And now I've got some pretty cool adjustability going on in there. And it's on the top of the mouse, not the bottom like a lot of mice company tend to do. Now the buttons, as you can see right here, they are flat top buttons. They've got a nice texture to them, so you're not gonna be slipping and sliding all over the place while you're playing your favorite shooter games, which we all know would be pretty freaking annoying. And I'm clicking things on the screen right now. That's okay, bear with me. Now you do have LED lighting on here. You have a lit EVGA logo right here in the back, and you've got a lit scroll wheel. It might be hard to see with the lighting, but you've got a lit scroll wheel, and you've also got on the fly DPI adjustments, as you can see right there. Now you've got on the fly DPI adjustments and uh, sensitivity adjustments. So you've got two different adjustments when it comes to sensitivity, but it is an 8200 DPI mouse. Now the movement is very, very crisp. There is no lag in this thing whatsoever, and that's due to the Avago 9800 sensor in there. So they went with a pretty hefty sensor giving you very precise movement. Now when it comes to all the buttons in this thing, you do have 20 million clicks. 20 million. That's like two games of Battlefield for me. But the Omron switches in here have a 20 million click expectancy of life. That's an awful lot of clicks, guys. Like, that, that's, like that's like 20 million of them. Now the really cool functionality in this doesn't stop with just the ambidextrous buttons or the cool LED backlighting or the fact that it has a nice rubberized scroll wheel that's a notchy wheel, on the fly DPI and sensitivity adjustments and removable weights and adjustable weights, it does also have a butthole. Yeah, quite seriously, this mouse has a butthole. And they give you this to put in it. I think that joke pretty much wrote itself. But if you like the mouse to be a little bit taller or a little bit shorter, you just take the tool, you stick it in the rear end, and you can adjust the height of the mouse. And I've just made it easily a half inch shorter by doing that. Stick it back in the rear end, give it a twist. Be gentle, this one's sensitive. You bring the, the height of both the palm rest and the switch higher, giving you a little bit more adjustability for comfort. Now it does have a built-in ARM 32-bit processor and you have a, an on-the-fly profile adjustment right here on the bottom. Now it does come with software that allows you to control the profiles, the LED colors that you want, the sensitivity for each profile. You could have different profiles for different games. So you could have a super sensitive first person shooter uh, or even a super unsensitive first person shooter profile if you want and a different profile for RPGs or MMOs or something like that. And without having to load up the software, you can switch it right here with this red button. And not only that, you can have different lighting effects for each profile too. I've set a few up here. We've got red, as we can see if I can actually push the button here. We've got red, green, blue, uh, that's actually purple. You can't really tell on the light. Yellow, 
Uh, back to red, you do have five profiles, but you can set up pink, purple, blue, yellow, green, red, orange. Uh, I think orange was in there, but even if it wasn't, the only color missing that I really would have liked to have seen would have been white. Oh, well, it can't be perfect. Now, it does have a six-foot cord on here, which is a braided cord, very heavy duty. Nice, thick junctions on there. It doesn't feel like it's going to break or bend on you. And, you know, I really have nothing but great things to say about this mouse. I played with it quite a bit. In fact, I was using it when I did that console video for the keyboard and mouse. Uh, I don't know if you guys caught that, but this is the mouse that I was using. It was very, very comfortable. Now, it's not as comfortable as ergonomic mice for a, a specific hand. I mean, they have to be able to fit both hands equally, so they're not gonna have the palm contour to it like some mice will, but they do a pretty good job at making it feel ergonomic for both hands. I mean, I'm not left-handed, but I can put it in my left hand and it, it feels okay. If you take a right-handed specific mouse, put it in your left hand, it feels a little bit awkward. Now, I've only got one complaint about this mouse, only one, believe it or not. And that is the fact that they went with the piano finish polished plastic on the side. And that I don't like that for two reasons. One, it gets fingerprinted and grimy looking quickly. I mean, you can polish this up and the moment you pick up your mouse to set it down somewhere or move it, it's going to have fingerprints all over it again. I prefer a rubberized or textured surface for the gripping portion of the mouse. That's just me. I really like rubberized mice. I tend to get sweaty hands. Yeah, it's kind of gross, I know. But I tend to get sweaty hands when I'm gaming, and so it gives me that nice comfort grip on there that I think uh, that's the only thing that this is missing. Now, this thing is launching on June 27th. If you're watching this past that, then it's already out and available. Now, you can pre-order this at Newegg for $49, but if you miss the pre-order, it's gonna go up to about $90 for full retail. So. It's got a hefty price tag to it, but it's also got a hefty amount of features that I'm particularly fond of. So if you do a pre-order, you get like a 50% discount on this, which is a pretty smoking deal if you ask me. Now, if you really like carbon fiber, they actually have a carbon version of this mouse where the piano finished uh, polished sides are actually replaced with real carbon fiber. Not carbon fiber stimulant, real carbon fiber. But it adds about 30 bucks to the price of the mouse. So there you go guys, EVGA's very first attempt at a gaming mouse. I really like it. I like everything about this mouse with the exception of the polish finish. Personal preference, you guys may like that. Some people may say it looks very reminiscent of other mice on the market. I tend to think the overall uh, idea of the mouse kind of reminds me of the Rat 7 from Cyborg, but I hated that mouse. I'm just going to say that now. I hated the Cyborg mouse. It just felt clunky. This one has no squish or movement to it, no creaking, like the Cyborg products tend to creak. I uh, just did not like my Cyborg Rat or my, my Cyborg Joystick. Just, uh. So there you go guys, the EVGA Torque X10 mouse. Look on down the description down there, I have a link to their website where you can learn more. You can pre-order at Newegg. And as always guys, follow me on Twitter if you'd like to chat about this or any other videos that I've made or you just have basic tech or PC questions. And as always, I will see you in my next video. You better be there. I get very angry if you're not there. I, I start the videos and I look and I say, hey, where, where's Bobby? He said, he'd, he said he would be here. And then I get really upset. It affects the mood of the video. And then you guys hit the dislike button because you're like, oh, Jade just wasn't in it today. So. See you in the next video, hopefully.